In this podcast episode, we had the pleasure of hosting Dr. Kurt Schütte, a biomechanics PhD and the CEO and co-founder of Run Easy, a company that's truly transforming running and jumping assessments in both clinical and athletic settings. Kurt's journey from academia to entrepreneurship stemmed from a clear observation. A significant gap existed between cutting-edge biomechanics research and practical clinical application. He saw the need for affordable, evidence-based biomechanical analysis that clinicians could actually use. The naked eye simply can't grasp the intricate forces involved, and basic video analysis falls short in revealing how a runner truly loads, responds, or compensates. This realization sparked the creation of RunEasy, aiming to bring lab-grade analysis directly to physiotherapists, whether they are working on a treadmill or out on the trails. Kurt told us that RunEasy's bold mission is to empower clinicians and coaches with data-driven insights to reduce injury risk and enhance performance, striving to make this the industry standard within three years. Kurt emphasized the challenge clinicians face in keeping pace with expanding research. While studies focus on populations, a clinician always deals with an individual in front of them. Here, Run Easy's actionable data helps bridge the gap, moving beyond what Kurt calls eyeballing diagnostics, to provide precise, individual-specific information that supports clinical reasoning without requiring a specialized PhD for interpretation. When talking about the core of RunEasy's technology, Kurt described it as an IMU, or Inertial Measurement Unit, device attached to the sacrum near the body center of mass. Its algorithms meticulously break down every stride into key metrics related to load, stability, and symmetry. Kurt described it as effectively merging a force plate and a motion capture system into a sleek sports belt, with the true innovation lying in the data it generates for personalized exercise prescription. Ensuring the highest accuracy, Kurt explained their meticulous validation process. They conducted studies where runners were simultaneously measured by RunEasy, Viken motion capture, and instrumented force plates, the gold standards. This allowed for direct comparison with ground truth data. Despite initial algorithms challenges, Continuous refinement, especially in how they attach the sensor to the body, led to run easy achieving results within one to three percentage points of the gold standard on key metrics, a level deemed highly reliable for clinical use. Run easy focuses on three core force related metrics. Impact loading, which measures peak sacral acceleration, indicating how hard and fast impact shock travels through the legs. High values often suggest a strength or capacity deficit in the lower limb shock absorption, while quick impact shock traveling times point to a need for plyometric training. Symmetry compares left versus right leg across all metrics, revealing overloading patterns or protective gait patterns, often seen, for example, in an ACL patient favoring the non-surgical leg, which then directly guides targeted therapy. Lastly, dynamic stability assesses side-to-side -side hip control and mediolateral energy leakage, with high pelvic instability often indicating poor hip or lumbar pelvic control. These metrics help clinicians quickly identify dominant compensations, assess load tolerance, and precisely tailor interventions like cadence adjustments, strength training, plyometrics, or stability work. Currently, RunEasy is adopted by cash-based physios, dual-role coaches, and university physiotherapists. While initially popular with runners, its application has expanded to team and multidirectional sports athletes, particularly in the crucial return to play phase post-injury. It serves both everyday athletes and elites. Kurt noted that even seemingly graceful top performers might reveal subtle asymmetries or deficits through run easy, indicating compensation patterns that warrant preventative attention. Kurt described that a typical run easy test session is designed for plug and play simplicity. Patients wear the sports belt, it connects to an iPad, and they start running. A quick one minute analysis can already provide initial clues. Clinicians can offer real time biofeedback during the test or review a comprehensive PDF report afterward. 
This report explaining scores, strong points and weaknesses, along with recommendations, significantly fosters patients' buy-in and motivation, much like seeing tangible progress with a dynamometer. This process helps shift the patient-therapist relationship from mere rehab to long-term prevention. The flexibility of RunEasy allows for both treadmill and outdoor testing. While treadmills offer a controlled setting for immediate biofeedback, outdoor testing can reveal a runner's true movement signature naturally expressed without conscious alteration due to the runner being observed. RunEasy's integration with GPS data allows for highly specific insights such as asymmetrical gait on downhill segments or compensations at higher speeds. The device records data even without a live iPad connection, making it convenient for sending runners out for longer loops to observe quality deterioration when pain typically emerges or fatigue kicks in. Kurt also mentioned a new Beta mobile version, allowing runners to borrow kits for assessments in the natural training environments. Kurt mentioned that RunEasy also features an innovative jump module that fills a critical gap in jump testing. Unlike expensive immobile force plates or time-consuming video analysis apps, RunEasy's lightweight module offers gold standard accuracy with automatic quick processing for repeated hops. Beyond simple jump height, its metric focus on quality. Dynamic stability or pelvic control upon landing, impact absorption and spring efficiency pointing towards elastic recall quality. These provide vital data for player readiness, fatigue monitoring, and rehabilitation. This module underwent the same scientific rigor as the running module, with its accuracy validated against force plates. Expert early adopters further confirmed its value, particularly noting the importance of population or sport-specific benchmarking. Kurt shared two compelling patient anecdotes. A post-op hip patient who appeared strong to the naked eye showed persistent asymmetry and elevated impact on a non-surgical site via RunEasy, indicating a protective compensation. Adjusting her training plan led to normalized symmetry and increased confidence. In another case, a runner with ACL injury failed the single leg reactivity test, showing poor spring efficiency and long ground contact times on the injured leg. Despite looking fine to the naked eye, the data prompted a delay in his return to trail running and guided specific plyometric exercises to rebuild reactivity. Kurt highlighted how such data-driven insights, even when unexpected, empower both clinicians and patients. Looking ahead, Kurt shared that RunEasy is actively developing the mobile version for runners, enabling assessments in their typical training environments. For any physiotherapists, Curious about biomechanics technology, Kurt strongly encourages booking a demo. These demos cover growth opportunities, time savings, practical application, and details on their online certification course, all in a no-pressure conversational format. All right, this sums up our podcast episode. If you would like to have more resources or to listen to the podcast episode in your own language, download our PhysioTutors app and get access to the transcript and infographic. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.